So oh my big boy, bestest big boy ever, Max, is finally chilling a little bit. Uh, it's definitely been very taxing on him. This being his first trip, I don't know that uh, two days is maybe the way to go, but he seems to be getting the hang of it a little bit better. We'll see. Uh, not having neighbors around us and the neighbor, the other neighbor's dog being quiet, the kids kind of being quiet now, he's kind of getting to be, okay, everything's cool around here, I don't have to go into, into total guard dog mode, I don't have to always be on, on the watch for, you know, people coming in and maybe being here that shouldn't be here, so, he's, uh, he's getting there, it's going to be probably a long road, but proud of him so far. We've uh, definitely tested each other's patience, but I have to realize that when he was little, when we got him, he didn't get to go camping. So as a, an adult dog, this is kind of a new thing for him. And uh, he'll, uh, he'll get better as time goes. So but he's being a good boy right now. So here we are, we're in the tent. Um, kind of funny how quickly things change. I was just talking to you guys about how Max is kind of, just kind of chilling and he's kind of getting used to using this camping thing and, and everything. And then, uh, then I got some new neighbors to the left of me as I'm sitting facing the fire and everything. And, uh, it's a couple with a, a boy, not a screecher. So I appreciate that. Um, but two dogs, I want him to enjoy it. I want him to be able to go with me more. I'd much rather him be here in the tent. I kind of took him out of the situation so that uh, he he's still being able to watch everything. I got his uh, food in here so maybe, maybe he will finally eat. We've been here since last night and he's basically had his treats, his meds for his allergies, and uh, half a half a better better cheddar sausage. So uh, hopefully we we get to eating and uh, we uh, get a little normal. So, but we're just gonna we're gonna sit in here. I can see I can still see the fire. I didn't put it out. I'm letting it go. Um, I'm still in well control of it, so I don't have to worry about that. And yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of hang out and uh enjoy maybe an hour or two in here to kind of get him to chill a little bit maybe take a nap and uh we'll check back in with you maybe a little closer to dinner all right we're back uh quick update uh our neighbors to the left of us really didn't stay too long uh i don't know if they were just having like a lunch because they didn't have a camper they did start a fire maybe they just thought it was uh too cold for them. I gotta tell you, right now is probably the warmest I've been all day. And other update is that I have neighbors over here now. Um, so Max is on a shorter leash because he was getting way too far into theirs. And I didn't want that to become a problem. Uh, I got the, got the fire going right now. And I'm just uh, kind of sitting here deciding if I'm gonna be super lazy just throw a couple better cheddars on the grill or if I'm going to do some of the stuff I actually plan to do in my pie irons. Um, whatever I do, I think I'm going to throw you guys in the chesty. Um, I didn't really get to film too much on lunch because Max was kind of getting squirreled by a lot of stuff and it just was too chaotic and uh, I think with the chesty I won't have to be holding on to the camera. I can kind of do what I need to do and uh, it'll be more fluid in the uh, in the production. Still trying to figure all this out. Um, you know, I just used to make videos for my friends who don't live in Montana anymore. So they're kind of the driving force behind all this because they figure if they like seeing some of the places I go, why wouldn't other people? Because, you know, you just don't get some of these views in other places. And this, this is just a little bridge in the Bear This is, this is a baby baby mountain this is a hill basically uh here in montana 
we don't really even call this a mountain for most of us. Uh, the stuff that's behind me that you can't see. Max, you're gonna, Max, you're gonna drop your food. Uh, the mountainside behind me is is really the glory of the Beartooth, and uh, hopefully in May when it opens back up, the Beartooth Highway, I'm gonna take you guys on it, and I'll show you show you how amazing it is. Um, when I leave here, I'll see if I can't get some pictures or some well some video of the canyon here and everything how uh, amazing it looks uh, with all the beautiful fall colors coming in and everything so I'm gonna, I'm gonna check back in with you guys when I get ready to make whatever it is that I I'm gonna make uh, Max and I had a nice little nap so he's back to being um, not chill at all and uh, super super on point with um, being a little anxiety prone so uh, I'll pick you guys back up again when I uh, when I go to eat. Oh, Max, are you all right? Say bye bye, Max. See you in a little bit. Okay, guys. So I decided to be lazy for dinner and just do some better cheddars. Um, but for dessert, excuse me, Max. Uh, we are gonna do some little apple pies in. Uh, the pie iron and everything so we got that rocking uh, I had a scared moment because I wasn't sure if I had a can opener because like I said in my opener I have a camper and for the last probably six years now that's how I've been camping so everything kind of in here is just all thrown together mishmash it's just totally discombobulated and everything so uh, I hope to get everything kind of figured out and everything but little by little, we're just working on it. So I'm going to grab the, uh, the little cheddars out of the cooler. And I think this bag right here, which is my, we'll turn around so you can see. This is my Lord of the Flame bag. I don't know if you can read that. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. So this has all of my fire stuff in it. Um, lights, emergency candles, fire starter, everything. Um, that's pretty much the only bag that is, uh, that is complete right now. Everything else is just kind of thrown together from the camper. Just a little here, a little there. Every, every cabinet kind of went through and everything. So, uh, we're gonna open up the old trusty polar ice and, uh, get some, oops, upside down. Get some Johnson Falls out and, uh, throw a couple on the flame here. Excuse me, Max. Yeah, Max, uh, I don't know if you're going to get any, but be a good boy and we'll see. So, there. Don't. Yep. And that's what happened last time. Dumbass. So, that sucked. So, so we'll get that to burn off a little bit. Gross. Yeah, sometimes that's how that goes. Yep, that's right, Max. That one's probably yours. So we'll get to we'll get to cooking here. And oh, huh, big boy. Yeah. So, ugh, God, that's terrible. Ugh, I swear I've done this before. I swear this is my first rodeo. Good lord. Mm. So, I love traffic has kind of picked up a lot of coming and going. I can't tell if people are leaving or uh, if people are trying to find spots. Quite a few giant campers have come through. Kind of crazy to think that they think those fit here. I guess somewhere in this park they do. Um, I'm not bringing mine here. This is a little too close, close quarters for me. Um, I have a three quarter ton uh, 6.0 power stroke and uh, it doesn't have exactly the tightest turn radius so to get in with a 24 foot camper and you're being about 46 foot combination it gets tough getting into some of these spots and I thought it was really crazy last night um, the guy that ended up being over here um, he pulled in when it was absolutely dead black out just absolutely dark it was crazy I mean good for him he got it in there but that's not something I'm going to do. So I'm uh, I'm going to let these cook. 
I'm gonna rotate these a little bit. It's a little awkward when I have the chesty on. I'm getting you my feet and everything. Um, if you saw my shoe right here, that's uh, compliments of uh, of Max. Um, when we got him, he was uh, eight months old. He was a little upset that he got left home alone and uh, ate up my shoes. So these are now some nice camp shoes. Thanks, boy. Good boy. Thank you. So uh, I'll check back in with you when I'm ready to go do the dessert and uh, I'll figure out how to kind of show it so you're not looking at my feet. So see you guys in a little bit. All right, got him off. Um, before I start, Max is probably gonna be a little annoying. His little squirrel buddy's back and it's, he's kind of sitting in the tree, kind of doing a little nana na boo boo to him. Kind of, kind of getting him, but as soon as, uh, as soon as I get the sausage, kind of figured out. He'll, he'll, uh, he'll have his mind back over here. So, I'm going to do the bun section. Oh, don't rip. Come on now. Be nice. Oh! Whoa. Didn't need to be like that. Dang. Get a little mustard. Why don't you lay down? You ain't never gonna get that squirrel. You need to realize some stuff here. You have a, a little different priority in life there, doggo. So, all right, well, I'm gonna get to get to getting. I'm a little better cheddar, and uh, Max will probably get this last part right here, and then I'll probably put that in the cooler for him a little later. Oop, I think I had that too high. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm still trying to figure out the the chesty and everything so uh we'll see you we'll see you a little bit when i do dessert i promise i will be better about this mm -mm. all right guys i'm ready to make my apple pie and my pie iron i have quite a few um pie irons so we'll get uh, this thing mm, so I got a waffle one, I got a hot dog one, I got of course a square one. Today, we're we'll using the circular one, the round one, to make another pie. So, uh, biggest thing for this is to always preheat it and preheat it well. You want it really hot, um, and then things will cook better, they won't stick as much. Um, and then I'll show you what we do when we're, uh, oop, I don't have you all the way up there. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. So I'll show you what I do when we're uh, ready to put them back and everything, get them cleaned up and everything. Um, we want them pretty good and smoking. So even though we're only going to, you know, put one in here and then the other one closes up on top of it, um, still want both of them pretty good and hot. And then one of the other things is, I can't see... If I'm got the chest right here, let's pull it up a little bit. Let's go right there. There we go. That's a little better. Um, lost my train of thought. So, spray the crap out of them. I think that's where it was. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna leave. We'll leave that one there, and we're gonna take this one over here, and we're gonna get it sprayed right away. With that. Do, do, do. So we just want to put one piece of bread and I just like a little, Max, get your nose away from that. I like a little cinnamon swirl. Um, I like a lot of cinnamon, so, and then not too much in the apple pie filling department. That's probably a little too much. I probably did exactly what I said don't do. So then we just kind of cover that little bed boy. We take our little pamps spray, bring it on over here the crap out of that now be careful because i did something really stupid and i sprayed that near the fire so that was not very smart of me because i could have definitely whooshed up and that would have sucked so i'm just gonna clasp her on and it's gonna be a little funky but uh -uh. i'm good thank you though no i'm good i'm good thank you though and we're just gonna, ooh, this one's gonna be an ugly one. 
so. Ah, uh, Max, stay. Leave it. Leave it. So just a. Uh, got some dogs going past through. See, this is what's tough about being in a campground like this. This is not exactly where I wanted to be for this first video. I wanted to be um, kind of secluded and everything so that I didn't have to worry about this, especially with Max's first uh, trip and everything. So it's going all right. There could be a couple things that I'm going to definitely do differently. The next time I take him, definitely not to a place like this or not until it snows where there'll be a lot less people. So no offense to anybody or anything, but you know, you never know how people are going to be. I definitely keep to myself. Um, I make sure my dog stays away from people, doesn't bother anybody, you know. Do, 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 do. All right, let's get a knife, cut the excess off. This kind of sucks. That was a lot of excess. That's kind of No. Max, no. No. Quit. Hey. Quiet. No. Quiet. No. Quiet. You're fine. No. Hush. Hush. Mind your business. Quiet. Quiet. Stop. Quiet. 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 No. Yeah, I know. That beagle or that uh, bloodhound or whatever he is. He's kinda he's kinda got your number today, huh? Yeah, alright. Alright, so back to this. Sorry about the interruption, guys. Um, I'm gonna cut some of the excess off here. Let's see how horrible this went. It's not usually. <laughs> you have this much excess. So we went a little crazy on this one. Oop. And turn. Alright, I'm gonna put it back in for just a little bit to kind of burn off the little edges there. Boop, boop, boop. And, uh, Good boy, Max. Just calm down. You're all right. I know. You're my boy. Just making sure I'm okay. Leave it. Leave it. All right. So let's see. Let's see how we did here. Mm -mm. Yeah, not even close. Oof. Mm. Expected it to kind of cook a little better, but apparently not. Mm. Interesting. Quit. You're fine. Yes, I know. There was a doggo near near our campsite. Thank you, Max. Very good. Good boy. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, mind your business. Leave him alone. I'm surprised it's taking this long. My cast iron is usually really good about this. So, and my stuff pretty good. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Oh, I'm kind of tired of crouching there. Hmm. Yeah. Boy, she's not cooking like she usually does. Crazy. I usually just cook over some coals, so it's kind of interesting that. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah. So pretty much when it gets dark, we're gonna we're gonna retire into the into the tent. Um, 
basically when I can't see Max within five feet of me, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night for at least outside here. Um, we'll go into the tent and I'll probably do some, you know, word puzzles and stuff like that. And just kind of have some chill time before we call it a night. Um, last night we were out pretty late past uh, when it was dark and with neighbors and everything, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be yelling at him and uh, continually, you know, having him over towards their space and everything, cause he, he's definitely watching them. He's very interested, he, he loves everybody. But the problem is, is that, what he doesn't understand is that some people don't love him. And it's nothing against him, but you know, he is a German Shepherd, part golden retriever and some people have you know a negative feeling towards german shepherds so and i understand you know and that that comes from bad ownership bad pet ownership and it's really not the dog's fault but you know they get they get the blame for it so i'm very mindful of that um it does come in handy though because uh, this morning when I had the busy bodies of the campground doing their little rounds and everything They didn't really want to come talk to me, which is personally fine with me um, It's not that I'm on social. I just you know, I kind of keep to myself and You know, I don't need to get into like a full-blown Conversation eh, it's kind of done. It's not my best One it'll do max will enjoy all the scraps. So that's basically all that that matters, I guess So we'll get to do a little crunchy crunchy Hmm. Yeah, actually not bad. Could have gone a little longer, but uh, I was lazy, tired of crouching and everything, so pretty good. Um, I've done this with white bread and cherry pie filling. Um, I've done a lot of stuff with my pie irons. That's why I really wanted to showcase it this, this weekend and for my first uh, time back out uh, camping and everything. But a little anxious about filming and doing this. Definitely a different thing for me. So I'm just trying to trying to find my spot, trying to find my groove in it and everything and, and figure out where I'm going to be. Um, I don't know if the next video is going to have Max with me. Um, I think he kind of adds to my anxiety of everything. I have to really worry about him. You know, he is spoiled. As you probably could have already told, told yourself and everything from... The fact that he's going to get a whole sausage to himself later. And he already got a half one. So, he's my boy. And he's a good boy. So, you know. I don't, uh... I may, I may say negative things, but they're all in jest. They're not really too, too mean. He's still a very good boy. He's still learning. You know, he's five... I think he's going to be six this year, actually. Um... Well, we got him at eight months, so unfortunately, we lost a lot of that time to be able to um, teach him a lot of things and teach him how we like things. Um, but it's been a struggle. Uh, but he's a good boy, strong-willed. He's smart, but he's also dumb. Um, that's kind of that Goldie versus uh, Jim Shepherd. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna finish my pot. Oh, hey yo. Yo, hey. <laughs> yeah, Max, you thought you were going to pay day right there. I want to finish my little pie here. I'm just going to chill by the uh, by the fire. And uh, I'll pick you guys up probably tomorrow morning. and uh, Or at least I'll say goodnight to you guys. And then I'll pick you up in the morning after that. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, GoPro died last night, so I couldn't, uh, couldn't give you my final uh, check-in before we went to bed. Um... We, uh, we just got up. Max has already gone out. He's kind of already in crazy mode because the uh, people next to us over here had their dog out. So, um, he's a little amped already. Um, but we're going to get uh, packed up and go home. But I wanted to talk about how kind of cold it was the last two nights and everything. Kind of talk about um, my sleeping bag. It's a little dark in here, so hopefully you guys can, can see it. Um, so two nights ago, I didn't film this, but... Um, it was probably, probably right at freezing or maybe just a little below for the, uh, for the low that night. And, uh, that sleep kind of, 
kind of reminded me why I got away from tent camping. Um, I have a hard time producing heat. So while a lot of times I'm kind of cold to touch or just kind of lukewarm to touch, um, it doesn't go well when you need to warm up your sleeping bag. So I know a lot of people will be like, oh, we'll just get a better sleeping bag or get better clothes. Um, no, I, I really don't make an, a lot of heat. Um, so I bought this sleeping bag. Maxi, your head's kind of in the way. Um, this is the Kodiak Canvas Z-Top. And uh, it's kind of a system. I got the uh, an accessory on it. Maxi, can you move, please? Move, please. So this has a extra blanket right there that you can actually throw on it supposedly now the um, sleeping bag is rated to 20 degrees and the extra blanket here is supposed to add like 30 degrees yeah I don't know if I believe all that but you know how that all is no baby you can't go out so um, this has a little thing here I'm doing this one-handed sorry guys so you kind of flip this up and right here is a hole for your head to come out so this covers up your pillow and everything and then quit. No, no. See, this is why, no. Hey, no. See, somebody walking their dog without a leash, which is not permitted here in the campground. Quiet, you're fine. Anyways, so then the blanket goes over. Um, I don't have it hooked, but it hooks. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can see it right there. So um, it's got little eyelets and everything that you hook it to so it stays together. Quit. You're all right. So I had this fully engaged. And I was wearing my thermal top, thermal bottom. Um, and uh, had my little smart wool socks on and everything. And was absolutely freezing. So then I went um, into my truck and I grabbed the little uh, fleece blanket that I always have in there. Whoop. I'm gonna try and pull it out. And uh, I pretty much wrapped that around my, my legs. Um, I put a smaller pair of socks on underneath these, had that wrapped around me, had my hoodie on at that point, and uh, just kind of tried to burrow in like a little bug and was still pretty, pretty cold basically all night and slept about two to three hours each time and wasn't very pleasant so kind of just reminded me why i got away from tent camping um i think i've figured out how to do this better um i have maxer you're kind of still on the way again uh oh where'd it go that row hold on Okay, sorry about that, guys. Found out what I wanted to talk to you guys about. This is uh, a rechargeable electric um, hand warmer. And so two nights ago, you know, I'm trying to get it to turn on, and I forgot it's pretty pretty finicky. And so I thought that uh, it basically had been bumped in travel and turned on. Um, so yesterday I charged it up with my um, solar bank battery and got her up and running last night so this was this is going to be the key i think i'm going to buy two more of these um i basically did the same setup last night as i did two nights before and it ended up being too warm because i added this it started to actually add heat um basically played hot potato with it until i went to bed i threw this down by my feet got them warm and everything and then kind of rubbed them on my uh, on my legs and everything and then um kind of had it because i um i'm a side sleeper so that's why mummy bags are terrible for me. And I know that they make mummy bags for side sleepers, but they are very uncomfortable still. So that's kind of why I went with this system right here so that um, I was able to sleep on my side. I kicked my leg out, so that's why I need more room. Um, so um, I had this like underneath me at one point, and then I would switch it to underneath me behind me so that it was touching my back so then I would switch it from uh, my stomach to my back and actually the best place for this was actually so weird um, was squeezed between my legs and that kind of kept me pretty warm to the point where um, 
oh and actually I, I need to back up a little bit so um i actually started to get a little warm two nights ago um i got up to go to the bathroom with max and uh when i got back in having the sweatshirt on was just too hot so but it was too cold to not have something else wrapped around me so i ended up having the sweatshirt just like on top of me wrapped around me arms all wrapped around me and everything and then i had the hoodie um pulled through i was wearing the hoodie and had it up and in the little hole and everything so trying to keep warm um but last night i kind of did the same thing it got it's actually too warm so then i kind of started peeling off put the took, took the hoodie out of the out of the hole wasn't wearing it and then ended up having to take the sweatshirt off again and uh, kind of wrap it around me and then one of our little potty breaks last night um i actually was so warm this had actually warmed me up enough and gotten enough uh, heat thrown into the bag I was able to take my sweatshirt off and just put it on my pillow and actually sleep on top of it so and uh, I actually kind of took my head out of here and just had it on top of me and just had it up a little bit so that I could tuck it under my my chin and kind of put it over my head and everything and still had like a little a little tunnel that I could get cold air but uh, not everything was out and about so um, worked better again buying like two more of these uh by the way i do not like the color pink i ordered purple so if this is their idea purple um if i order purple again and it's this color uh i'm returning it uh but if it ends up being purple this is going back in its place and then i'm going to get a different one uh because i absolutely sorry for all you people that like pink i despise it but anyways um just wanted to give you guys a little little update and everything we're gonna get packed up and uh, we're gonna get on the road uh, we got to get home, make sure we're home by about 10.30 or so, so I can take a shower and get ready to uh, sit down and watch some football. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll check it back in with you guys before I leave, and uh, yeah, see you guys then. Alright guys, we're, uh, we're all loaded up, and we're going to go ahead and head on home. i got Max here all ready to go. Of course, his uh, face is out the window right now. Hold on. Oh sure, then you move. Oh, there we are. So, all right, fine, man. Let's be that way. <laughs> all right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and head on home, and uh, gonna get this edited. We'll see how well this went. Who knows? First, first edition. You know, definitely had some some follies here. Um, gonna rethink a couple things, uh, but. Uh, Thanks for watching. You know, if you want to continue watching the adventures of uh, being a, a woman who solo camps here in uh, in Montana, you know, subscribe, like, comment. I mean, you guys know the drill. You're not uh, newbies to YouTube, so. But hey, I'll see you next time, and uh, you guys have a good day.